We started in November and now uh, we already played several boys teams and actually we already played a men's team and we played 3-3 against the men team and that was amazing. Many of them have the talent, they have, have the talent to go into the national team but there's no training at all. So what we have done now is we want to make a continuous high quality coaching so at least they understand really how to play soccer and they can improve themselves. People from other areas, like uh, from other from other villages, of, not all from other villages here, but from other areas outside, they say, oh, the Papuans, they are stupid, they cannot do anything, they are not very intelligent. That's all not true. Basically, of course, Papuan girls are also very crazy for soccer and they have also the strength from natural strengths. Uh, they are very athletic and very skillful. But the weaknesses are especially in the area of tactics, of uh, the understanding of the game. And that's what we are lacking in compared to teams like Vietnam, like China, like Japan, Korea and so on. So that's why we have to really we put, put a really big effort in training them in the system, how to play in the system, soccer in the system, so that they're really, technically they will improve, so that they will have a chance, if they play for the national team, they will have a chance to actually, at least to compete with teams like Vietnam which, or Australia or, or uh, China and so on who are now of course uh, very far away right now from Indonesia. We want to show them, prove to them that they can do it and that they're able to learn it and that's something which, which gives them so much self-confidence that they can also learn in school much better. When we see these kids play we just love them so we want to do something good for them.